Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the interactive rendering performance settings in Corona Render. One of the biggest issues with interactive rendering is the infinite number of passes. To solve this issue, Corona Render has a few settings that can help us to control how the interactive rendering works. We're going to open the render setup by pressing F10 in our keyboard. In the Scene tab, General Settings, we're going to press the Interactive Rendering button to open the Virtual Frame Buffer and start an interactive rendering. After this, we're going to select the Performance tab and under the Performance Settings, we're going to be able to find the Interactive Rendering options. The first option we have is Match Passes. By default, it's set to zero. This is going to render an infinite number of passes. If we open the Stats tab in the Virtual Frame Buffer, we're going to be able to see the total number of passes for the rendering. As the current setting is set to infinite, this is going to keep rendering until we press the Stop button. If we go back to the Performance setting and change the Match Passes value, for example, to 20, we can see that the total number of passes stops when it reaches this new number. Each render is different. Some scenes will require more passes than others, but I recommend starting with 50 to 100 passes and see how your scene and PC works with this value. The next option we have available is Force Path Tracing. With this option, we can override the primary and secondary solvers in the global illumination to always use path tracing for both options even if UHD cache is selected. This option can help you if the interactive rendering is unresponsive or if you need to minimize the memory consumption. And the last option we have is Fast Preview Denoise During Rendering. This is one of the most useful settings and I recommend to have it enabled all the time. What it's going to do is to do a denoiser of the image at the same time that it's rendering. You can see that it's going to start with a noiseless, low quality image that can help us to get a better idea of the lighting in the scene. And it's going to improve the quality with the more passes it renders. As we have seen, this option can help you to have a better control over your previous. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.